Oh God, I just bumped my head. Uh. Hello everyone, Russell here from RVT. So it is Friday and the only thing that has happened, I'm gonna give you a little update here. Uh, I just jumped from there. But anyways, the only thing that has happened is the uh, condenser, AC condenser has been installed. It's right here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this wire like oh no. I mean this is not how I pictured it either, but I guess that's a max that they can go on the wire. Other than that, you know, it starts dropping on voltage and it's not good for that unit when you have a long of a, long of a distance. I'm not sure what the distance is, but I must say from here from here to here I measured it like when I was building that pad from the corner and I believe it was like four feet um, you know I noticed that you know it goes in and then goes in up and then goes to the top and then connects to that motor that's And there's a donkey over there. I've never seen him before. Right over there. Had to actually, uh, when I went to the entrance of my property, had to actually uh, drop up to him because it was right on my gate. But anyways, um, back to this. It's like four feet, four and a half, I think, from here to here. Um, and there's evidence right here that outside, where is it at? Oh, right there. Put my fingers all over the camera. Right there. That they, he made a hole somewhere in the house and he just threw his trash outside. Well, I know exactly where he made that hole. Is right on the uh, in the cabinet where the uh, AC uh, unit is inside the house. But this one goes there, and it goes into the inside unit. And then this line right here is a drain. I don't know why. When I got here. I don't know why he had to go around the sewer outlet but the sewer you know when I got here this was like this like that so <laughs> I was like what the heck why why did he put it right like right on the sewer line to go out so I just pushed it back and hopefully that's uh that's enough room for the uh, whoever's gonna do the connection to the sewer line is I mean I don't like that there this right here oh, oh god I just bumped my head I don't like that this right here this right there I mean why not why not over here I don't understand these people. I mean, common sense, but. Anyway, I'm just a homeowner. <laughs> um, anyway, let me show you over here. I'm gonna walk over there and then start recording from over there on the entrance. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back over here at the entrance. Now this pile of dirt came from here. The uh, owner of the property right here he he said he dug a bunch of sand from right here 
and the reason he did that is so he can put some gravel to the gate level right there he did a pretty good job and you know I kind of like this you know it's uh, mixed with uh, clay he probably it's probably not gonna be nice when it rains but hopefully some of that clay is gonna wash down into the into the ground push the button again my fat fingers push the button and stop recording <laughs> anyways uh hopefully you know those the water when it rains is gonna expose that gravel that's under there that you can actually see on top and uh, but it's a lot better than having sand right here getting stuck we I never got stuck but right over there that's when somebody got stuck I noticed that one time that when I was coming back over here there was some rut like somebody just got stuck and I don't know how they got out but they managed to get out but this that's all been that's, that happened over the weekend I mean over the week now last weekend I brought yeah I'll walk over there and then I'll start recording one soon I get there now I brought this tank last week last weekend uh, the, the way I got this tank is uh, went into Facebook market is a used one uh, I, I actually had to repaint the lid and because it was like really bad rusted uh, it looked like that like this picture right here I'm just posting right now and uh, my neighbor who's my landlord he's a really really nice guy he actually took his time to go get it from me because I was at work and uh, the guy he was that was selling the tank he was he was selling for two hundred fifty dollars and since there's like a big shortage of these tanks to 150 gallon tanks I was like looking for months and I couldn't find any and finally found one there and uh, told the guy you know I'm interested I'm very interested on the tank he's like alright you're, you're number fourth on the list uh, nobody wants to come get it right now though they had to wait until the weekend and I told the guy, well, I'll go get it right now. I, and then he's like, okay. <laughs> so uh, the neighbor, I called my, actually, I told my neighbor about it. He's like, well, I'll go get it if you want. It's like, man, that would be great. And he went, uh, we went over there to, it's about maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half from here. And he actually went to go get it for me. And I gave him some gas money. But. That was really nice of him to to do that for me, and I cannot say <laughs> enough about him because he was he's been great to us the whole entire time. So, anyways, this tank is now sitting on the uh, not on the shoulder pad, not on the maxi pad. <laughs> As I'm choking on my own saliva, <coughs> but on this concrete pad, and. Uh, you know it's all finished up it's got brush on there <coughs> oh man and uh, it looks pretty good to me it started raining the same day after I finished pouring this and pretty glad that uh, that I get any water spots I think it's, it was it was dry enough to uh, not get the raining uh, you know splatter back to this tank I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on there and then I'll show you how it looks like now. Alright, so this is how it looks like now. <laughs> Paint it on the inside. It sits like that. Now I might have to get a wire for here because. This is how the wire looks like. It's all rusted and nasty looking. And uh, put it on there. You know, I'm gonna see. I don't know where I can find a wire like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. And um, this week, tomorrow, probably, I'm gonna come back and wash this uh, tank 
and, and do a little light coat of the white so I can repaint it and the the way I unloaded this thing is just put a chain right here and then put the forks on the tractor and I just put a one fork and then to the other side and then I was able to lift it with the tractor my neighbor he said that he actually had to roll it and I was thinking maybe eh, I don't think that was a good idea you know but not a big deal I heard that tanks are not good when you set them on the side and stuff so but anyways um, I don't know why but that's what I heard here's the uh, the gauge and we got about 40 47 gallons in here um, I already got a quote for that connection and uh, the city is telling me that I need to get a permit and then the, the gas company is telling me that they don't because they're approved by the uh, railroad commission and a bunch of drama a bunch of drama on them so <laughs> anyways uh, they're gonna have to go down you know underground the city wants it uh, 18 feet under underground I told the uh, gas company and they said that they usually do it 18 feet anyway so um, I was hoping that they will do it before they cover this line in here I, I have I haven't gotten a, a response from the from the builder I call him and he never calls me back so how about putting the this dirt back in there but I want to put uh, some kind of stake right here uh, in case if they come back and actually decide to cover the hole the trench it's been on the way you know I want to be able to drive straight out that way instead I had to go that way all the way around where the septic tank is all the way around the side all the way around that uh, line over here the power that they put for the water well on the outside and then in I mean they're going out can go out from there and I want to be able to just drive through here but everything's going so slow I called the Pratt homes and they told me that uh, that they gotta try to do the trimming because my wife sent a nice email to them telling them that they need to do something because we need to move out of the where we at right now the homeowner you know the actually a property owner of the house that like he's been fixing on the back of our where we have the RV you know he needs to get somebody in there and he needs to charge people like uh, you know for rent good rent money we're only paying like 400 bucks uh, this was before you know the pandemic and he hasn't raised the rent on us so that was that's pretty nice on him I know everything is very very expensive right now you know rent mortgage payments and and it's kind of hard to uh, find a house affordable house but uh, I mean and then every I bet you everything is gonna just crash you know and people that overpay for homes are gonna have to probably you know take the damage of paying too much <laughs> but uh, we ended up kind of like in the middle you know but everything is going up everything is going up in the construction business but that's gonna be it you know it's a short video but I just want to give you an update on the AC unit and well hopefully you know they get started next week Hopefully, the water well guy gets started next week. Friday at the latest. He said two weeks, and that was like a week and a half ago, or a week ago. Next week is two weeks, so. See what he tells me this week. It's probably going to say two weeks. <laughs> the way he's going. But, anyway, I hope you like this video. You know, it's not much it's just the same thing almost but except for the uh, AC unit and 
uh, thank you for watching and if you want to keep watching the progress here on this modular home uh, make sure you just like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get notified whenever the next video is gonna come out I know that uh, uh, my videos are not you know specific to one just one specific thing I usually put random videos of everything because you know I like to do other things just I uh, remember my first video <laughs> it, it was pretty bad you know it's, 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 if you haven't seen it it's gonna be up there on the on the top but is is a I was restoring a, 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 a record player and that was back in 2009 that was one of my first videos and it was pretty crappy I had a crappy camera and yeah <laughs> but anyways thank you for watching and talk to you in the on my next video